1999, we went back to the US. And this time we went to a university town in the middle of the US uh, called Urbana-Champaign. And at the University of Illinois has a campus there. It's a very, uh, it's a very excellent engineering school. And I had two colleagues there, Seth Hutchinson, who had worked with on the, the visual servoing paper, and another, another guy called Mark Spong. Now Mark is a serious robot control and dynamics person, uh, colleague of, of Malcolm Good, my PhD supervisor. And I went there to read, to learn something, something different, particularly to get back into this area of control, which had been my, my old interest, but I got diverted into robotics and vision. And I thought I'd go and, and learn a lot of really cool control stuff from Mark Spong. Uh, I did. I uh, also spent a lot of time talking with Seth and we worked on some uh, some interesting problems in visual servoing. Uh, it's, it's a field, there's lots of interesting questions still to be addressed and, and thought about. And so that gave me the opportunity to, to do that. And we wrote a paper, again, was, was quite successful on a particular, very narrow problem in, in visual servoing. So we understood it and, and came up with some ways to get around it. For the family, it was, uh, it was an interesting experience. We arrived just before the, uh, the US summer, summer holidays. So my girls both went to school in the US uh, for a few weeks. Uh, so Lucy went to the middle school, Maddie went to the junior school. She got to go on American, big yellow American school bus. Uh, People there thought that their accents were cool, uh, <laughs> but their, their, their time in school was, was quite short. So we homeschooled them and we did quite a bit of travel around the, around the US. And I think it was a, it was a great, great opportunity for, for all of us. You know, more challenging for the family than it is for me because I've got a lab to go to, colleagues to talk to. Uh, Philippa and the girls were you know, to be fairly, fairly self-sufficient. They bought bicycles and we rode around the place. And yeah, 